So you have a portable power station or power inverter that you're thinking about connecting up to your house in the event of a power failure. The only problem is you took voltage measurements between the neutral and ground of the power station or inverter and you detected a voltage. Does that mean you cannot connect it to your home? You're going to find out in this video. If your power station or power inverter does not have a ground prong or if you look inside the ground opening and see no metal, just a plastic hole, you cannot safely connect it to your home. Let's get started. If you take a look over here at the digital multimeter, 200 volt setting AC. AC receptacle is on. So if I go in here and here, 120. If you go between the hot and ground, 45. If you go between neutral and ground, 76.2. So some viewers are going to see that and say, wait a second, why is there a reading between the neutral and the ground? And what you're looking at is a floating charge. And I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to connect up this very low current lamp. I think it's five watts. I'm going to put it across here just to show you. That's as bright as it is. And then what I'm going to do here is go back to the neutral and this is going to go to the ground. So you can see 76 volts. So now I'm going to go between neutral and ground. And if there's power there, usable power, that light will come on. So let me leave this one alone and shove it in here now. You see how it vanished? There's no more 76 volts. I took that little surface charge off and now it's zero. And the same thing applies if we do it this way. So 45 volts. And if I go between the hot and ground, this should disappear. And you see there's no illumination of the bulb. So it's just a surface charge. And what's going to happen when you connect this to your house, if you use Jackery's automatic smart transfer switch, which lets you transfer up to 12 branch circuits, the neutral in your home is also connected to a ground rod. So the neutral and ground are bonded together. Or if you have a main panel, you're going to see that the neutral and the ground are connected together in your main panel. Sub panels are different. They're going to have a separate ground. You'll have a ground bar in the panel instead of just a neutral bar where all your grounds and neutrals are connected. So I'm just gonna show you right now. So let's just do this. Right here it says 45. All right. Let's go back to the neutral 76. So if I take this and put it between here and here, this should go to zero. And the reason why I know it's not going to short out, let me just show you one more time. Put that in and put this in. All right, that's at zero. If I take this meter right here, one milliamp or zero, connect it right over here, it's showing zero. So there's no current flowing to keep this at zero. Pull that off, take this, this is what's gonna happen in your house. Now, if I measure between neutral and hot, you have 120. Between hot and ground, if I get it in, 120. And if I go between neutral and ground, nothing's gonna happen because both of those are shorted. So you're going to end up with zero volts. That explains why you see that little bit of a floating charge. It's not an issue and it will work just fine if you connect this to your home. Hopefully after watching this video you now have a very good understanding of how to check your portable power station or power inverter. The problem is much more common with less expensive portable power stations and power inverters where you observe a 60 volt split between the output 
with the hot and neutral that gives you a lot more power between neutral and ground. You'll definitely want to avoid those type of units. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to rate thumbs up and share. Thanks for watching.